gonna make another food for thought video about food, pun intended. So, when I was 16 years old, I started cleaning up my diet, and one of the first items that I quit from my diet was a soda. I used to drink a lot of soda, two, three, four liters a day. And my parents were very upset about it, and they asked me to cut back. And I realized it was very difficult. They would make me go two, three days without soda. I would drink one soda, and it was like I couldn't stop. I needed five or six sodas after I had that one. And I had a situation in my life where I really wanted to... Uh, to, to, to not drink so much soda and I decided the best way to do it was to quit altogether and then my parents gave me a lot of flack over the idea that an occasional soda isn't going to kill you yes it won't the problem is that I can't stop at that one and I told my parents straight up I know one won't kill me I, I can't stop at that one and then my parents pointed out that I had a control problem I, I needed to control myself well if you know a troublesome food item is going to cause you some physical illness. Right? Let's say there was a food you were allergic to and it was going to give you anaphylactic shock. Or maybe it was not so severe, right? It was going to uh, cause your skin to flare up. Do you bother touching it? The idea that a food could cause you to um, lose control of um, your uh, eating habits, um, I, I treat that like it were a physical disorder right uh, uh, the idea that one's gonna lead to even more that's that's just as uh, much a, a, a symptom as an allergy or uh, or something that you're incompatible with or even something that you dislike right why would I even want to touch it especially if it doesn't even have any benefit in moderation right if it did then yeah I might have to deal with that right if we're talking about uh well, I, I guess one uh, good example is if you need painkillers for some reason, right? And there are some people who are going to have trouble quitting the painkiller. you you got to weigh the risks and the benefits there, right? But soda is pure risk if you have an addictive personality. Just just cut it out, right? And uh, But people always give me that problem. I still run into that a lot, right? If I'm, cl if I'm close to somebody and I can tell them why I uh, refuse certain thing right? people always tell me one bite's not going to kill you it's not the problem is that i actually prefer no bites to one bite no bites is not going to kill anybody either right and then people tell me that i have a control disorder okay i'll admit it the thing is if one bite's going to give you eczema and you refuse it would you want me to say the same thing oh just put up with it right 